Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in our Q&A series where your problems, your comments becomes my content. So in today's video, uh, we are going to discuss how we can deploy our projects using GitHub. But remember, it's the video we are using without GitHub Actions because most of us have the shared hosting plan, right? So we are not using CI CD pipeline here we'll keep things manual and simple for now don't worry the video with CICD plan will be in the next so uh, for this I got this comment here uh, where user asks me to deploy the projects into subdomain and then make a video on that right so here so exactly this is what we are going to do in this video I'll just create one subdomain and I will try to clone my github repo in my server and try to run the project so for that we are going to use this uh, inventory management system so I have also written an article all in this so it will be also uh, published and I will just uh, put the link in the description section so uh, let us move further so first of all what we are going to do is uh, so here I am on my C panel right so first of all I'll just add a subdomain so after you log into the C panel you will just add a go to the domain section and let me add the subdomain uh, let's say let me write right okay ims dot okay ims dot edupro dot co dot k so I don't want to share the document root I just want to create a different folder for this right let me try to submit yeah if after this if I go in my cPanel file manager so it will create me a uh, here it will create me a new directory right so let me first remove all those uh, existing files because I don't need them so now what I am going to do is I am op going to open my terminal and I will try to clone my repository right so for that uh, let me go to my github it's I think I am as named right yeah so okay here let me just copy my link and then so let me first check where am I am I okay I need to go inside ims dot right oh, sorry cd ims dot let me enter tab okay here I think now we don't have anything I want to clone my project here right git clone here so if I will try to clone this remember it will create a new folder with this name ims code daily right so what I will do it I will just give it a dot so this dot is specified that you need to clone this in that particular directory meaning it will be just the code will be inside ims edu pro not inside the this folder right so let me hit enter oh it's something already exists okay let me just check ims okay let me let me let me delete this folder too we don't need that and let me go to my terminal and retry okay it will ask for the username so my username is this and password okay so far for password we are not going to enter directly the uh, password because it will not work so you need to go to your settings and then developer settings inside their token classic and here uh, okay I have just uh, one let me just you can just uh, enter on generate new token and you can generate the classic token so I have one token I'll just uh, regenerate this okay regenerate let me copy this so this will be your password right let me paste yeah so here if I will go to my file manager and let me refresh here so yeah here is the I have already got the code right so remember we don't have vendor file dot emd file yet so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to update our composer mm, 
okay in the meantime what we can do is uh, let me open tools in new section and let us go to PSP uh, management database and then let me create a new table IMS and then user IMS let me generate the password and let me copy this so let me just push uh, this like that for now yeah I'll just add okay let me create that user after that uh, we need to assign that user to that database right so here so user and then the database for now the name is same so let me add and I will just give it all the axis so okay so now first thing I will do is I will just copy my env example file dot env dot example dot env right so now if I go to my file manager and refresh mm, ims so here I got my dot env file right so let me open it and now I need to add this uh, first of all let me just paste my password okay and then the name is uh, I think okay here is the name yeah, I have already got the, yeah let me just paste this paste this save changes that's it so now did I enter this yeah okay so let me run, run, uh, run my migration PSP artisan migrate and also PSP artisan generate key oh sorry key generate yeah that's it so now uh, let me let me try to open this in our new tab okay still it's 404 not found right so the last thing that we need to do is we need the dot access file here so which is the configuration file so here I need the dot access file and let me click on where is the edit yeah and edit so here uh, you can just uh, copy the code from here I'll just put the code and that's it save changes yeah and let me refresh my system yo okay now I have something okay it's it's the error and let me try to go to admin okay I can go to admin uh, I have also created the some seeders right uh, let me just show you yeah user and tenant I think yeah I have tested the let me run that uh, PSP artisan DB sheet yeah and let me try to go to this and let me try to log in yeah now I can uh, clearly log into the system right uh, yeah this setting should be created from the admin panel so there are no any other series that I have created so in this way you can easily uh, host the things deploy the things if now if you change something like from here then what you need to do is just you need to op open the terminal and just you need to hit git pull every time when you push the things from the to the github you need to pull the things from here so in this way we can use github push and pull uh, to deploy our project and I know it's a boring task so in the next video we'll try to uh, uh, make it automation using the github action plan so thank you so much guys and if you have any problems if you face any problem please comment down below and if you have any things that I need to cover I can cover please comment down below